you've done your research, you know what location you want to go to, and you just got that nagging feeling, did I actually get the best airfare I could at the time when I booked? Well, what I'm going to show you today is how to use Google Flights to just check and do a bit of extra homework and make sure that if you didn't move your holiday a little bit this way or that way, that you might have saved yourself hundreds of dollars on airfares. My name is Michael Leake. I'm the manager of the Habitat Resort in Broome. I, we spe we've been specialising in the last 20 years, giving our guests great holidays in Broome and giving them little travel tips that help save them money on their holidays. So as I said, we're going to talk about Google Flights today. So very simply, go to Google, type Google Flights. Right, uh, as I said, we're, we're from Broome. A lot of our people fly to Broome from Perth in Western Australia. So I'm going to actually focus mainly today on getting flights from Perth to Broome. And let's type in Perth, let's type in Broome. So the first thing I like to do is go have a look at the trips. I like to do it a one-way trip, just to get an idea of how, how the airfares are looking in their prices. Right beside the date, you can click on this calendar. We've typed in Perth to Broome. Click on the, click on the calendar, and I'm just gonna bring this up and enlarge it a bit. And it'll start to show you prices already under the dates. So you, you, the trip, a one-way trip from Perth to Broome is $236 through February. Let's look at March. And we go through 236, and then all of a sudden we can see it drop down to 204 here, which corresponds to the flight special at the moment. And I'm thinking, ooh, maybe I might want to look at the April school holidays. And again, we've got these, these cheaper flights here. Let's choose the 3rd of April here, the Monday, Nice and early in April, I'll reduce the screen in size again, click on done, and what it'll do, Google will go and do a bit of a search, have a look around, and come back with flight options and flight prices. So as you can see here, this is Virgin Airlines, I'm just going to expand that a bit, Virgin Airlines, 710 flight, 945 arrival, $204. So let's select the flight, just click on here, oops, click on the flight, We'll reduce the screen size again back to normal. And it comes up with a range of options. Now, it says here, book with Virgin. And again, it enlarge that a bit. It says it's 222, including the $3 credit card fee. Now, you've got two other options here, book with BYO Jet and book with Auntie Betty. Um, my preference when booking these flights is to always go to the airline themselves. You tend to find, and we'll click on that while I'm talking, you tend to find that if there's an issue and you've got a booking directly with the airline, it's a lot easier. If you've got a booking with a third party, same as when you're booking accommodation and online travel agents, if you've got a problem, that's when things go astray. It's always better to book direct with the organisation providing the service, whether it's accommodation or airfares. That way, you can talk directly to the people who've taken your booking and help resolve, some, resolve any issues. Okay, it comes in the 3rd of April, and here you can see it's 219, and as I said, plus $3 surcharge, for the credit card commission. Now, you can have a look and there. see it, there's a number of dates, but we've got April. What happens if I move my dates around a little bit? Will I get a better, will I get the best price? When, what date should I look at? So I'm gonna click back on the link here, back to Google Flights, reduce the screen size down a little bit, and I'm gonna go back here to where we actually looked at the dates and show this little thing here. We've got the date grid and the price graph. Two great little tools, very similar the date grid here is very similar to what I showed you just two seconds ago, except it's only it's a bit briefer here. It just shows you seven days. We're going to pop out of that one. Or the other one is the price graph. Now, I like the price graph because it shows a lot more days and it gives you a bit of an idea of which days are more expensive and which, which days are not more expensive. So we're looking at Sunday the 2nd of April here. And if we go all the way through, whoops, we, did you see that little jump there? So you can see here, here we've got the cheap prices all the way along here. Then in May, it suddenly jumps up to $2.99. Let's move on a little bit further. We can see the prices as we get into June, July, get a bit more expensive. Typical with uh, Broome, it gets busier over those periods. But you can still get flights from $2.55 for a one-way trip. And then as we go out, a little, out again a little bit, we can see that come August, we've got those cheaper flights. So it's a really great time to go and get some flights right now. There, it says listed as $204 in Google. As I showed you, the, the, the rates are actually through the online travel agents. It's up to you. Personally, I don't use them. So we're back into June, July. You can see here, July, 
start of the school holidays, Saturday 1st of July, 3.97, reasonably expensive still. And then just be aware that the scale jumped up and down on the side here as I move further on and the, and the maximum price decreased. But all the way through here, you can see down the bottom, it says August and September. So we've got good flight deals all the way through there. And that goes all the way through to the end of October. We'll jump back to the April. We've got accommodation, family accommodation available, pretty much corresponding to the cheap flight dates. So if you want to come up for a family holiday in April or May, give us a call. We can reserve the accommodation and hold it for you while you book your flights. But as you can see, there's some great flight specials here. Catch you later and make sure you book soon. Bye.